Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, this is TVT here, and uh, we need to talk to Professor Weasley in the Transfiguration classroom and figure out exactly what is going on with all of these extra assignments. Alright, let's get to it. If you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, turn on notifications so you never miss a video, and be sure to share with your friends. It really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Let's get this, let's get this party started. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a strela. <laughs> Regardless, you must continue to build like upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked much. your professors she to help hasten your progress with some her, extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Okay. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide Jay array Pippin's of potions, potions. ingredients, Love although it. they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're oh, there fortunate you go. to have someone like so him nearby. One. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Reparo, Reparo. Ah. Revelio. I do not accept that that tree is sus. This this shrub is sus. Ah, there you are. 
<laughs> you have a new spell to teach me, you. Professor? Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. Mm. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay, what am I doing here? Collect the flying page near the near the broken statue. Roger. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Hmm. Revenia. Ah. Got it. Whoa, whoa, what the... Uh... Uh... <laughs> well... This is, uh... Hold up. We're just gonna... <laughs> uh, am I not allowed to fast travel when I'm in the water? Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, we're gonna tr fast travel to the Charms classroom. Apparently, I got stuck in the floor. <laughs> I went for a swim, phase through the world. <laughs> That's certainly a bug that needs to be fixed. Oh, it's a newly released game. These things can and do happen. That's a pretty badass maze. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Oh, there it is. Yeah, sorry about that, Professor. I got stuck in I got stuck in the world. I trust the preliminary mm. tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. All righty, Reparo. That's it, very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <laughs> My power is rising! Oh. Huh. Wait, can you move that? 
Ravenia. It's not working. All right, moving on. Whilst I'm impressed by your wand work, I would suggest you set your aim a bit further from your professor. Let's head over there. Oh, that's cool. be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there I mean, other there empty paintings, paintings like this move. around they the just kind of leave Yes, a few. Frames, can't they? <clears throat> this entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Ah, I am the main character, Do therefore come and find my me. success. Must on something that spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Which it is. I enjoy having Except when the giant's This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? <laughs> During holidays, I do look forward to going home. How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Never a dull moment when I go home.
for me what the f <coughs> ow <coughs> Natty, yeah, that was a painful sneeze. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long not at all professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat you must be eager to have your own things again and to see the village. Yeah, I've been my, uh, my to things it. got eaten Good. by a dragon. It was Shall not we a fun off? time. I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. I'm waiting for something bad to happen while I'm there. Also, welcome to Hobbiton, apparently, according to this loading screen. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. The uh, so Weasley got an owl. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Pavelio. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. By the way, the lace wing is an actual, is a real insect, if you didn't know. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm being a bit more quiet. I'm just like, kind of enjoying the, enjoy, I'm chewing the scenery, as they say. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Those are beautiful. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely or Andrew Larson? <laughs> That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students. As the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Well, forbidden rolls ruin. off the tongue easier than the don't go in here, you're going to die forest. I would Just spend saying. all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. 
Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Ah. <sighs> Damn it, I didn't abandon her. I wanted to go check the rocks. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new pick here? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. Huh? What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Oh, Mr. Moon. A Demi guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Uh, what? What is that guy doing? Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. <sighs> Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Yeah, I'm gonna try Enjoy and keep yourself. it a little bit shorter today, soon. so we'll probably just uh, finish this quest and uh, call it there. But I'm gonna assume something story-related is going to happen. be right with ah it's you um i love his design already uh, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes i about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one. As I recall, getting you the wrong one uh, causes things to explode. No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Oh, give me the green box. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, 
Give this one a try. Ooh. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Am I going to get I'm a Phoenix Cole wand? Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Ooh. Oh, I get to choose? Dude, let's go. Okay. How intriguing. Classic gray. Ooh! Curious indeed. Crooked spiral. Oh, yeah. I kind of like How the intriguing. Half brown. Ooh. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Where is it? Come on. Ah, I was like, oh, where's mahogany? I want mahogany. All right, we'll pick redwood. Curious indeed. How intriguing. indeed how intriguing that on the left you could do some variations I can do a black one how intriguing curious indeed how intriguing I like the moss, the, the green gray. Curious indeed. Okay, I, yeah, we're gonna go with. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> A 
Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Yeah, I really like that design. It actually looks like it it's still alive, like it's still part of the tree. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Miss Rolivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I really like his shirt. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do these little bit of, bits of dialogue and then call it an episode. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, Indeed, and protect. they can be much more You'll subtle. You'll discover all of this soon like... enough. As it's you your first time in, I should them. mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Yeah, I am in a bit of a rush. I don't think I can actually afford anything on here. I've got a grand total of 105 gold. <laughs> That's incredible. I love that. Muggles have made life hard for us since the dawn of time. 
Oh wow, am I hearing some, am I overhearing a racist conversation? I think I might be here overhearing some racism. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of oh, course it is not without complexity. That. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? I gotta say, I love the music in this game. Very reminiscent of the interested. movies. Feel free to take a look around I wonder if at the, the composer rest is of the my same. inventory. Green jumpers are a nightmare for people in the trunk. You put your shoes in there as well. Smell. I just wish they'd hurry up and sign the essay on Werewolf. Okay. What's the next one I need? I need one more, right? Visit, visit the magic meat. to go across town, darn it. Dale. I'm here for the seeds <laughs> Professor see Weasley it. arranged for me to collect. Oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. <laughs> Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. <laughs> no shit. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pick yeah, your interest out with. Absolutely sweet fuck all. Um, well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Yeah, let's do the thing with Natty and then we're gonna call it an episode, probably. Everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. 
Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Uh-oh. I knew it. I knew something bad was gonna happen. What the? Dark Souls roll, let's go. Okay, I have to dodge. Can I? Are we weakening him at all? Yeah. Keep acting! We have to let him go! A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? An armor troll. I suppose troll. so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair. Oh, good evening. Oh, uh, uh, a moment you move. I will see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more. That was awesome. I One like last that. thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repairer. Travel broadens the mind. Well, I gotta hand it. That was actually a pretty fun fight. All right, we're gonna get through this di bit of dialogue, and then we're gonna call it. We were just talking sword. about you. Huh. 
Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. Ooh. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like I to like give how you he's already one such set of Yeah, robes. we're, we're going to be trouble. What you did today. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, <laughs> Let's go get have drunk. at least one butterbeer. <laughs> Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Thank you. Alrighty. I think that'll do it for today's episode. Once again, hold on. Once again, if you enjoyed it, do me a solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And be sure to share with your friends. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Yeah, all right. We're going to we're gonna pick this up pretty much right here next time. But it is getting late for me. I need to get to sleep. And also, that is uh, three videos out the door there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save the game. Ah. Alrighty, this has been TBT signing off. And I will catch you lovely people in the next one. Bye bye Or not, because the cutscene just started. All right, cool. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed okay, was a I distraction. Okay, I guess we're ending the episode after this. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. 
Hmm. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh, oh. oh time, lame. Oh, man. All right. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh, oh. Oh, I said. Oh, my everyone is just got busy. up like, oh no, no, no. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovens. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Oh yeah, I gotta take one last dig at her. Can't drink we... butter beer forever. Sheesh! Look like an old Western standoff right there. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the camp. Yeah, all right. We're going to save the game here. Uh... Uh, I got to the save menu earlier. We need to figure it out. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. And with that, we are going to call it an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm having a blast with this game. Uh, it's got a few bugs and, and hiccups here and there, but honestly, the narrative has really gotten me interested around this mystery with ancient magic and stuff. But at any rate, I will catch you guys on the next one.